Hey folks, Randy here with Dolan Cut and Trim. So, uh, that's something on my mind I wanted to share with you guys. And that is the number one way that i found to set yourself apart in the lawn care business. So a lot of people in this business, they focus on the wrong thing. Um, you know, people think that if you're gonna cut lawns for a living, that what you really need to focus on is getting really good at mowing lawns. And it's not true. You don't have to be good at cutting grass to be successful in the lawn business. I know this because I'm still in business. <laughs> There's a lot of lawn guys in my area, um, some of whom I've partnered with on jobs and others you know, I've just built relationships with. And these guys, watch them work. I've seen their work and they're better than I am. But I've got a bigger customer base than they do. And that's, you know, part of that is by, you know, that's not all just me. I mean, there's, it, there's more to it than just that, but I don't mean to compare myself to those guys because they watch this channel. <laughs> but um, when it comes to running a successful lawn business, it's not really the actual mowing of the lawns that makes the huge difference. I mean, obviously you gotta do that and you gotta have a certain, there's gotta be a certain level of quality there when you when you mow but that's not the most important thing um, you know uh, having the best edges or being the best on the trimmer is not the most important thing I, I, I know this because uh, I think I was two years two and a half years into my lawn care business before I learned how to edge I'm not making that up I, I, I did not know how to do that didn't even realize it was a thing. And I was in business for two years when I figured that out. So I didn't know what I was doing, clearly. But I was still in business and I had a lot of customers, a lot of happy customers. And in my area, I'm also one of the, one of, if not the highest reviewed guy. And I get a lot of customers based on those reviews. So, I guess I'm, and I'm, not, I'm trying, not trying to be rambly, but I just, I guess I am being a little rambly, probably because I'm a little distracted because I'm putting all my safety gear on while I'm talking to you. But <clears throat> the number one thing that'll set you apart in the lawn care business is good customer service. And I know you're probably gonna roll your eyes when I say that and be like, oh, come on, dude. But I'm telling you, if you focus on creating a great customer service experience, you'll never run out of work, ever. My phone rings four or five times a day. I get emails constantly, and I'm constantly having to turn down work or send them to somebody else because I'm too busy. And it's because the reason I'm so busy and the reason I have so many customers is because of the customer service experience. That's what gets referenced more than anything else. And so if you're looking to really build longevity in the lawn care business, learn how to be good with your customers. It's not, it's not hard, honestly. Other lawn guys actually make it pretty easy, you know, because there's some rough dudes in the lawn care industry. <laughs> so if you just do small things like no matter what, yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am, no matter what, no matter what's going on, no matter if they're being rude, no matter what, always be polite, always, always be polite. When a customer contacts you, have a professional response or just have a consistent response. You know, if a customer calls your business line and your answer is a low, that's not, that's not good. That's not generating confidence in you. You know, when somebody calls me, First off, there's a, a virtual, what do you call that? A virtual operator that answers, and so they have to like dial a number, you know, like hit, hit one to get me or whatever it is. And then when they answer, when I when I get answer a call, it's, hey, it's, it's uh, Dolan Cut and Trim, this is Randy. Every single time, this is consistent. Um, I have a, uh, uh, 
online client portal that my customers can use. And you know, yeah, it's just lawn care, but it's like, it's a high-end customer service experience and that's what brings people back. Um, you know, uh, having professional communications, responding quickly. These are just, they're, they're very small things. They're simple things, but if you do them, that's what's gonna build customer loyalty and that's what's gonna keep you in business. You don't have to be the best at it. You don't have to have the best equipment. You can have crappy equipment, you know? I had customers that were signing up when I was mowing with a, you know, $40 push mower. But because I had a, there was, they had a good experience with me, they, they stayed with me. You know, I, I think people are willing to deal with stuff if you provide them with a, a, a better experience. Like, I mean, I'll give you a case in point. You guys know I have a special needs son. Well, I'm not a Target guy. I don't like going to Target. I, I think their, their stuff costs too much and I'd much prefer to go to Walmart. But Target, even though Walmart has all the stuff that I need, all the stuff I want, it's in my size, um, and it's more, uh, uh, it's a better price. <clears throat> Even though all that's true, I still go to Target, where things cost more, and I'm not as happy because I'm spending more. But the whole reason I go is for the customer service experience. When I go to Target, they have a cart that's special. It's not the little cart where like it turns your cart into like a you know like a semi truck. Um, where they, you know, the kid can, you push the kid and the kid's like sitting in front of you. Uh, Target has a special cart um, that allows your special needs child or whatever to sit in a pretty much a normal seat facing you and you push them. And it makes it so easy to go shopping. Many, 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 many times when I've had to go out to the store to get something simple that I could definitely get at Walmart. I didn't go I actually went and spent more money at Target because they provided the experience that would make my life easier that would make my life better so look for ways you can do that in your lawn business and that'll set you apart it's the number one thing you can do you know do your best job obviously but at the end of the day if you're providing your customers with a good experience they'll stick with you even if you're not the best guy out there. So, um, I gotta get to work, but uh, this was on my mind, so I wanted to share it. So, it's Randy with Dueling Cut and Trim. Have a good one.